Hello guys and welcome to Learn Coding Skills and welcome to this new series called Football in Python. In this series, we're going to use MPL Soccer, which is a Python library for creating customizable football visualizations. So the kind of things we can make using this library include pitches, heat maps, short charts, pass networks. Also, we'll learn how to integrate real football data. So we won't be using that in this video, but in future videos, we'll be using real football data. So um, yeah, it should be interesting if you're into data analytics or if you just like football and want to do this for fun. So first of all, we're going to need to import a few libraries, MPL Soccer, Matplotlib and NumPy. But if you don't have MPL Soccer already installed, then you will need to install it through your terminal. So for me, since I'm using Anaconda, I'd go into Anaconda prompt and write pip install MPL soccer. And yeah, as you can see, it says requirement already satisfied for all of these because I already have it. Um, so yeah, once you have it installed, you can then write these following lines from NPL soccer import pitch and vertical pitch Oops. so yeah for today's video we're just going to be using pitch and vertical pitch from NPL soccer because we're just going to be creating a football pitch um, and we also need matplotlib so we're going to import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt and then yeah, also numpy. Import numpy as mp. So what we can do is we can actually the first is run this, make sure everything installs properly, imports properly even. Okay, it did. Alright, so to create a basic pitch, all we need to do is pitch equals pitch and then fig axe equals pitch dot draw and there we go now obviously this pitch is very basic so let's customize it a little bit so okay what are the kind of things we'd want to change we want to change the color so to do that we would do pitch color equals whatever you want so in this case we'll just go green it's the normal so there we go we'll also add in some corner arcs as well so corner arcs corner arcs equals true and there you can see if I zoom in corner arc there one there one there one there um we can also make it half pitch if we want. Half equals true. We can add stripes like most pitches have. So we can do stripe equals true. And yeah, obviously this doesn't look too great because the lines aren't too clear. So we can change the lines color. And we do that with line color as you probably guessed line color let's make it white so now that looks much better and then yeah if we want we can change the stripe color too to make that light green okay that looks that looks nice um also if you want you can use hexadecimal codes for the colors so you can be more specific about them okay now what if we want to make more than one pitch. We do something like this: n rows equals two, n coals equals two. That will make obviously two rows and two columns, so four pitches. I'm gonna remove half equals true just to make it look a little bit nicer. There we go. So now you might be wondering why I said we need to install matplotlib. I mean, why we need to import matplotlib, and I'll show you why now. So if you want, if you already have 
axes have already been created, you can then draw pictures onto them. So if we made some if we made some graphs quickly. As you can see, we've made two graphs here. Um, and also, the reason why I've written AXS here is because when you have more than one graph, it's convention to write AXS instead of just AX. Um, yeah, anyway, so yeah, we've created two graphs there. And then if we wanted to draw onto those graphs, we'd first need to create pictures. So create one okay this one will just be a plain one and then we do pitch dot draw and then we need to draw on the graph that we want so if I wanted to draw on this left one I'll just do xs zero and there we go now if I wanted to draw on the other one I could do that let's make this one different we'll say pitch color equals green and then draw it on second one there we go um okay so now what if we have what if we have multiple rows and multiple columns obviously we can't access uh a access like this so Okay, first of all, let me run this. Oh wait, why is that not working? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to do that to access top left. And then this will be top right. There we go. Uh, the reason why it's like this, instead of like this, it's because it's a numpy array, so you can do it that way. You can do it either way, to be fair. If we run it, it will still work. But since it's a numpy array, I'd rather stick with this way. Okay. So now let's draw another graph. And this one, we're going to have access labels on them. So we put axis equals true. Actually, let me remove the spaces so that it's the same as everywhere else. And then label equals true. And then if we wanted this to be in the bottom left, it'd be one, zero. There we go. Um, and then on the other one, I'm going to show you something called Huego de Position Lines. If you don't know what that is, I guess you'll see in a moment. And then this will be 1, 1. So it's these lines that basically divide up the pitch so you can visualize different positions. And then if you want to like shade the area, do something like this. Shade middle equals true. Voila. Okay. So what if we wanted to set a title to one of these pitches? Let's say we want to add a title to this green one. What do we do? We just do Access zero one dot set title. We'll just call it pitch just for ease. And there we go. What if we wanted to add labels? So say for this bottom right one, we wanted to add the label, I don't know, let's just say length for uh, on the bottom axis, I'll just do this. Dot 
dot set x label length right there length okay nice now obviously you can see this little text has appeared and obviously we don't really want to see that I mean you might but in this case we don't so we just write plt dot show now we just get what we want now another thing I want to point out is sometimes when you have like loads of labels or like access labels or whatever you can they can overlap a little bit so to fix that you just write a line fig dot type layout and basically what this does is it spreads them out a little bit more you probably won't see the difference now but say we had overlapping axes uh, I mean axis labels it would make a difference so actually if I were to comment that out let's say we had this on the top one as well and then what to rerun it as you can see they're getting very close um, and let's say we had a label with that as well so axs zero zero dot set x label uh just write length again okay as you can see they're overlapping right now but if we have fig dot tight layout it spreads them out a bit and not too much you can if you look in the docs it shows more about like spreading them out based on a certain amount of width or length that you want but yeah this is always useful to know if you want to just quickly move them apart um and yeah anyway i'm gonna do something a little bit different now this is probably gonna be more exciting so just create a pitch before i go on to that just show you guys what the vertical pitch looks like oh, there we go so as you can see yeah it looks exactly how you'd expect it to be and you just put in the parameters the same way you would with a normal pitch but for what I want to show you next I'll just use a normal pitch add some color to it as well okay there we go so I'm going to show you guys how you can plot points on this we use a, a method called scatter which can be used to point to plot one or more points on your graph so this is a matplotlib function so you can use it in matplotlib you can use it in this um, actually first of all we're gonna need to be like that okay there we go so now what we can do is ax dot scatter and let's just pick a random point 10 10 now, as you can see there's a faint blue point over here let me change the color so it's more visible just make it white all right there we go we can see that we have a point here if we wanted it to be a bit further on could do 30 there you go 30 10 so why don't we try and make 11 players using uh, this method so with this function we don't only have that we can pass in lists as well we can pass in arrays so let's create an array call it X so we have to pass in an X array and a Y array so for the X array just do np.random.randint and then zero pitch dot dim dot write 11 so what this does is gonna create uh, an array of X values of size 11 and they're going to be anywhere 
from zero, which is over here, and pitch.dem.write, which is over here. And then let's just do the same for y. But this obviously can't be the same. So we do pitch.dem the bottom, and as you can guess, zero is up here, bottom is down here. Then we can just pass it through like that. There we go. So now this will be of fun. Let's create another set. So we can have two teams basically. So we do x2, y2, x2, y2. And then we'll make them orange. There we go. So, yeah, this isn't too useful because they're just random points. But soon we'll be looking at how we can load data and have like real world examples of where players were on pitches. And yeah, it can be used for some interesting analytics. Okay, now, one last thing I want to show you guys is how you can customize the scatter. So we're not going to go too much into detail, but a nice feature is that you can change the shapes. So you don't have to have circles like that. You can have X's. So let me show you what that looks like. Look at that. So yeah, that's all I'm going to show in this video. If you want to see more customizations, you can look at the MPL soccer documents. Uh, you can also look at the matplotlib docs for like more things on scatter and the other things that they've got as well. But yeah, for this video, this is what I'm going to show. And in the next video, we'll be going on to more interesting stuff that you can do with this library. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. And if you have any questions, just write them in the comments. I'm happy to answer anything. Thanks for watching the video.